Hello, young bibliophiles. I'm Miss Stacy with the Boonville Warwick County Public Library, and we're here for story time again today. Today we're going to read a book called Bear Came Along, and this is by Richard T. Morris. Just a second here. Once there was a river that flowed night and day, but it didn't know it was a river. Pretty, pretty good river. And there is somebody sneaking around. Until Bear came along. Bear was just being curious, playing in the water, when he realized what the river could do. Oh, he fell in, didn't he? He didn't, but he didn't know he was on an adventure until a little wet bear. And what is that? Froggy hopped on. It's a frog on his head. Froggy was a lonely frog who was looking for a friend, but she didn't know how many she had. There they are climbing up on that log until the turtles showed up. The turtles tried to warn them about the things that could go wrong, but they didn't know how to enjoy the ride. There they are, they're the scared turtles. Until, and there they all are on the log, Beaver climbed aboard. There's a beaver. Beaver was born to captain and he knew exactly where to go, but he didn't know about the detours until the raccoons dropped in. All oh, those pretty animals, the froggy and the bear. The raccoons were so excited about the twists and turns ahead, but they didn't know they had to be careful. See, look at them all coming down there, flying all around that river, having fun, until they crashed into Duck. Oh no, poor Duck. Duck was so content being right where she was, but she didn't know there was a world to see. Maybe she's happy to fall for new friends. Until, oh no, what's gonna happen? Look at all the animals, they all look scared. I don't know what's gonna go happen. There's that long river, and there's the, oh no, it's a waterfall. They're gonna fall over, I hope they're okay. There they go, down they go. Bear held on to Froggy. Froggy held on to turtles. Turtles held on to beaver. Beaver held on to raccoons. Raccoons held on to duck. That's good. They're all working together, aren't they? Oh, what a ride. Look, they splashed down in the water under the waterfall. So many different animals living their separate lives, but they didn't know they were in it together until, look, they're all happy. They had a good time, didn't they? The river came along. Doesn't that look nice? And look, there's more animals. There's a skunk and some foxes, a moose, a deer, I bet there's some squirrels, all kind of animals, and they all get along together in that nice story. Some very beautiful pictures. Okay, remember last week we did the dust bunny, so here we have, here comes the big mean dust bunny. Oh, I don't like mean guys. Remember those guys from last week? Hello, we are Ed, Ned, Ted, and Bob. We rhyme all the time. Look at that scary guy. I am the big mean dust bunny. Oh no, that's not good. Interesting name. Want to play a rhyming game? No. Come on, what rhymes with fit? Lit, kit, Bob says cat. I know. Cat doesn't rhyme, does it? Sit. Oh no, he sat on them all. He squashed them. Sitting is fun. Fun? He weighs a ton. Get down there. My turn. What rhymes with face? Race, case, vase. And Bob says, cat. Chase! He said, he's going to chase them everywhere. Chasing is fun. Fun? Run! They don't want to be chased. My turn again says the big mean dust bunny. What rhymes with? Bob yells, cat! Oh, and there's the cat, and he sat on the big mean dust bunny. Splat! Splat rhymes with cat, doesn't it? Look at that. Look, he's all flat. Look, he is flat like a mat. Drat that cat. He may be a thug. Look at that, he's all squashed out. But what rhymes with? Tug! They're tugging him out. They're gonna fix that big mean dust bunny. 
I know, says the big bean dust bunny, what rhymes with bug. Hug! And he's giving them all a big hug. That was nice of him, wasn't it? And then the big bean dust bunny says, he says, my face feels weird. And Bob said, it's called a smile. So what do we do now? Chase the cat? That's a silly story. I like that one. Thank you all for joining us today. Hi everyone, it's Miss Heather. We're gonna do a craft today. This is our craft. It's a pinwheel. So what you need is, you need your strips, your skewer, like for barbecuing, uh, your scissors, your hot glue gun, and your glue sticks, and your glue stick, and you will need a push pin or something, uh, and something like this to poke the hose. Okay, so what we're gonna do start first is we're going to start gluing our strips together. Oh, and make sure that you call us if you'd like to craft. You can pick it up uh, during curbside service and we'll have the pieces for you. Okay, so you have eight of these strips. They're about a half an inch wide, uh, the length of the full paper, construction paper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue all of them together like that and then just start gluing them around. So, so far, this is what it's looking like. So here's what it should look like. Now you should let it dry for a little bit and uh, because it works better if the glue is dry. So now that you've got your eight strips in this pattern, now we're gonna put them together to make kind of like a ball. So you're going to take your strip, make sure you use a lot of glue, and you put them together. And so then you're just gonna stack them all like you did at the bottom. Like that. So here is the result of what gluing all them together. And like I said, you wanna let it glue, the glue dry a little bit. So now we're going to do, get the skewer in there. We need to take our push pin and poke a hole through there, which is gonna be tough because there's so much paper in there that you want to kind of be careful because you might poke your finger. Maybe let mom and dad do this part. Okay, so I poke a hole in both sides and then I'm going to take this tool and kind of make it bigger because you want it bigger for the stick and because you want the stick to be able to move up and down. So I got both sides. Okay, so now you're gonna take your skewer and you're gonna poke it through the hose. Like that. Also, I forgot to tell you at the beginning, you need two blue or whatever color you want circles because they're gonna go on the top and the bottom of the stick. It kind of gives, I don't know, like a brace or something for the strips. So you're probably gonna have to use your push pin to get it started. And you wanna glue that too. You wanna glue, put lots of glue on it. Well, and I'm gonna need, make a bigger hole cause it's not going to go through that stick. So then, then your blue circle or whatever color circle you want is going to be like that. And you need to do the same on the bottom. Okay, so it's glued like that. Okay, so now you're going to 
with your hot glue, you have your hot glue. I don't have mine on right now because we don't have a plug-in close by, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hot glue and you're gonna cover this tip up there with the hot glue. It keeps the strips on, but also protects you from getting poked by the, the pointy part of the skewer. Okay, and so then you're going to take your pinwheel and you're gonna do <laughs> Okay, so now you have everything except your hot glue. So this is what it looks like before the hot glue and this is what it looks like with the hot glue. That way it keeps it on there and keeps everything from flying off. So then you take it and you and you spin it. And there you go. And also don't forget to write your name on one of the strips. Have a good day. Woo!